Okay, no, he's no longer doing any damage. Sorry, hello there, my friend. Uh, yes, I've accidentally turned into the Terminator. I physically can't bloody die. <laughs> oh no, Cyberpunk, oh no. Something's gone terribly wrong. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we're back with an absolutely fantastic Cyberpunk video because today we'll be solving that age-old problem of death. That's right, are you tired of dying? Does the ever-encroaching fear of your imminent demise really get you down. Well, what if I told you that there was a way to cheat death completely by becoming an immortal? And no, I'm not talking about just drinking copious amounts of Yorkshire tea, like myself and the Queen do to gain our immortality. I am talking about exploiting the lovely game of Cyberpunk 2077 to create a character that is so strong and powerful they can no longer take damage. That's right, even if Rihanna Keeves was to try and suck the very air out of their lungs, they would not die. The heat death of the universe would be but a scream to this character and it doesn't matter if you strap them to a nuclear bomb because guess what it's not even going to leave a dent. So what on earth are we going to do? Well we're going to be exploiting the game of cyberpunk to create an absolutely insane character which will no longer be able to take damage. So without further ado make sure you're sat back relaxed with a nice warm cup of tea in hand. If you're new here you can subscribe and heck you can even like the video. Now let us dive into this fantastic monstrosity of a buggy game because if there's one thing I know about this game it's that no one tells Tested anything, <laughs> which is why I'm able to find immortality exploits. Because no, no, why, why release a game in 2020 with actual QA testers behind it when we can just yeet games into the abyss with a massive marketing budget and watch the money roll on in? Anyway, let's jump into this video. Now, welcome into Cyberpunk. This is our legendary character, Vianu Keeves. I promise he doesn't look this stupid most of the time. I mean, he has a face. He does actually look like Rianu Keeves when he takes off all the clothing. Look at that. It's it's Rianu Keeves, except no, it, it's Vianu. Who keeps a completely different character, okay? 100% legally distinct, I promise. Now, when it comes to actually becoming immortal in Cyberpunk, there are technically a few ways in which we could do it. Most notably, we could gain immortality in the game by simply having a very high armor stat so that we no longer take damage, or potentially glitching a mechanic in the game in order to no longer have damage. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be breaking the armor statistic. Although, we might as well start by showing off how broken my revolver has now gotten. This isn't even its final form, trust me, ladies and gentlemen. If you can believe it, there's actually a revolver in this game that's better than the legendary Overture revolver. That's right, there is a iconic Overture revolver, which I'll show off how to get in a future video when I actually show off how to show off this game's equivalent of the Skyrim Fortify Restoration Loop, which allows you to basically create weapons or armor of exponential damage. But yes, just how much damage do I now do as a level 38 chump walking around the countryside? Well, for a level 38 chump, we managed to one-hit enemies for a rather comfortable... 220,000 damage. <laughs> it is so unbelievably stupid. It is just unfair. Hello there, enemies over there. What? You, you think you're safe? No, you're not actually. All I need to do is land a vague headshot in your general postcode and then I'm afraid that's a one-hit kill no matter how healthy you were feeling. Bam, that's 139,000 damage. And can I do a body shot? Yes, I can. That's a body shot for 16,000 damage, which, need I remind you, is enough to one-shot everything in this game. Also, it's always going to be a critical hit because we have a 98% crit chance on just the gun. <laughs> oh, you don't even know, want to know what the rest of this is doing. Welcome, friends, back into Cyberpunk. Now, things are looking quite good. In terms of our armor statistic, we're doing pretty jazzy. I mean, look at this, 1,996 armor. Now, that is pretty good. However, it could be much better. The way to make it better is relatively simple. All we need to do is simply stack these incredible armadillo mods which increase armor by 183 onto all of my clothing. The only downside is I don't have an infinite supply of armadillo mods to actually fill out these slots. So how on earth am I going to make them all? If we hop into my inventory and take a look at all of the attachments I have, I only have one armadillo mod which quite simply isn't enough. If we want to achieve the highest amount of armor possible, we need to fill every single armor modification slot with an armadillo mod. So we're going to need to get duplicating. Now, how on earth do we duplicate the armadillo mod? Well, quite simply, all you're going to need is one of these handy dandy little drop boxes over here. This is a buying and selling point in the game. Anyone has access to them and they're pretty much free to use and they will duplicate any item in this game. The only downside is uh, the nearest one to me is currently defended by a whole bunch of enemies, which means uh, I need to do the age old game of headshot everything with 100% crit chance. And there we go. Fantastic. We've cleared out all the enemies, meaning we now 
now have access to the incredible drop point. And in order to pull it off, it works on basically every platform. You simply want to go into this and sell an item. In our case, we're going to be starting off with the untitled 18 Branceski painting, which we managed to pick up in the last video. And once you sell it to this vendor, simply press escape. Now that item is basically stored inside this box. Now what we're going to do is basically glitch the menu. In quite a common exploit, which we like to use in Skyrim for trading menus, we're going to press escape and then the sell button at the same time. So on PC, we press escape and R, and this brings up the selling menu, but something slightly different. We can buy back the Branceski painting, but every time we click it, nothing is changing. This is because the menu is bugged. However, the game is still counting that I am buying this Branceski painting. So all I'm going to do is slam my auto clicker down on it and let it go to town as we spam by a million of these Branceski paintings for only five euro dollars. This allows us to completely destroy any element of supply in the game as we are able to buy as many of any one item as we like, provided we can put it inside of a drop point. So what I'm going to do is press escape now. If I go back inside of this cell menu and go over to our all inventory, you'll notice that we have a rather unique quantity of 472 brand Sessi paintings. This is incredible because this basically means infinite money. If we were to sell all of these, we'd get 1.8 million euro dollars. But of course, that's not what we're going to do. Instead, we're here to duplicate various items that we want. So we're going to start by selling the lovely armadillo clothing mod. It is a little bit expensive to sell, but trust me, it's necessary. So the armadillo mod is in there. It's nice and sold. So we'll just back on out of this menu, press escape and R at the same time. Now we're in the menu and we can buy as many of the armadillo mods as we like. Equally, we can sell as many of the Brancesi paintings as we like. So we'll sell a nice, comfortable quantity of those. Oh God, this is too many. So how can we gain immortality from armor? Well, it's actually pretty simple. The way the armor statistic works in this game is that basically for every 40 points that you have in armor, your character takes one less damage. Now, this is a pretty interesting statistic because it means in order to, of course, take 10 less damage from a shot, you'd need to have 400 armor. And due to the way that this system works, it basically means that against things like pistols or SMGs, a very high armor stat makes you immortal. And against something like a sniper rifle, a very high armor stat can be a little bit hit and miss. So all I theoretically have to do to make this character immortal is to raise their armor stat so high they can no longer take damage from any of the oncoming bullets that they're receiving, effectively rendering them an immortal. So let's see just how far it can go. Now with all of these armadillo mods, we can basically whack them onto any of our items to increase their armor by a very comfortable amount. You see this headband at the moment only gives us 46 armor. This isn't enough. Instead, we're going to whack on one armadillo mod, another armadillo mod, and yet another armadillo mod. So this headband now gives us a comfortable 229 armor. Now the only way we can really improve the amount of armor mods that we can strap onto our character is by increasing the amount of mod space on our clothing because as you can see we have three mod slots for our shoes, only two for our trousers and four for our trench coat. So naturally we need to improve this so that we can have even more locations to ram these modifiers onto. And of course the easiest way for us to do that is to actually craft it into existence. So what we're going to do is basically mass produce all of these various clothing items so that we can eventually produce a legendary clothing item with four mod slots so that we can ram on as many armadillo mods as possible. So I'll be back in a bit once I've managed to spam out all of the various items necessary to give us the most mod slots. So I basically need to convert my character from being a classic mercenary into becoming a portable child clothing sweatshop. So I'll be back in about 15 minutes once I've mass produced some fashion. Hello there ladies and gentlemen, I've jumped into the midpoint of the video because we here at Spiffco have run into a problem. Sadly, due to the many item duplicating habits of the Spiffing Britain Rianu Keeves, we have ended up with more armadillos than we feasibly could manage. That's right, an actual armadillo. And because we have so many running around, the first 10,000 people to like this video will receive their very own pet armadillo. And who wouldn't want one of those bad boys? I hear if you strap enough baby armadillos to your clothing every single day, you will eventually become immune to damage. Now that's a pretty good thing to have. Anyway, let's Let's jump back into the video. This is it ladies and gentlemen, this is basically the perfect setup of everything we need ready to go in Cyberpunk. So we've created all of the necessary items with the maximum quantity of legendary slots so that we can ram mods on them and we're ready to go. If we were to basically run with the current default armor setup of what someone might have at this level, we'd be looking at an armor rating of 1000, which is quite good, that'll stop a decent bit of damage. But we want more than that, so instead of using these gar 
garbage little heavy duty punk fleets with 74 armor, we will be using the crystally lily evening shoes with extra durable soles, which grant 629 armor. This actually doesn't grant 625 armor, it grants even more than that due to the way that all of the modifiers work. Equally, we're going to change around our lower body to these lovely jazzy hot pants, and of course, these hot pants have garbage mods that aren't the armadillo mod, so we'll be whacking on all of the armadillo mods this evening simply because they are so very perfectly balanced. And now we're up to 2147 armor. Equally, we can swap around this lovely little red alert anti surge net running suit, which has a base armor of 200, and whack on a whole bunch of armadillo mods just to really jazz this item up. Now, the game is technically displaying that it's only meant to give us 600 armor. This is actually wrong, it's meant to give us a whole bunch more than this, and we'll be demonstrating that shortly, don't worry. Now, equally, we can swap around the jacket that we wear on the outside of us to this lovely lightning rider reinforced racing suit and we will once again swap everything out so that it's an armadillo mod and then we of course have our head and finally the face mask or in our case it's just going to be a whole bunch of goggles which we will once again whack a whole bunch of fun little armadillo mods onto and wham bam there we have it technically our overall armor rating is now at 4000 this however is technically wrong our overall armor rating is actually higher than this so i'm gonna have to save and reload the game just to prove how much we're actually meant to have from all of these item pieces. So I'll be back in a bit once all of these modifiers have been calculated. So welcome back onto our quest for immortality. Since you've been gone, I've made some minor changes to our loadout, uh, just a few small ones, and I've noticed something relatively interesting. You see, there is currently a huge amount of bugs involving the armadillo mod, uh, to the point where if you use too many armadillo mods, the game simply doesn't function, which is why I've discovered a few interesting workarounds to basically increase the amount of armor that items actually have. Because allow me to demonstrate, logically you want the highest quality armadillo mod to give you the most extra armor on your item, correct? Well, yes, but also all of the items are broken so the amount of armor that each of the armadillo mods gives is completely and utterly out of our control. But you can kind of manipulate it by simply starting out with all of the lowest level armadillo mods, that's right, for some reason removing an armadillo mod we've dropped the armor of this headband to 66. Don't ask how, it's, it's a complicated thing considering the base armor of this headband is, is is like 40 and now we've removed another armadillo mod and now the base armor is up to 180 like we actually removed a superior quality mod there and and it's it's gone up look okay the developers don't know how to code video games right evidently everything else in this game is just a fluke and then we remove all of the upgraded armadillo mods and now up to 295 armor okay but luckily we can now actually start adding more armor this is where we can start improving things so what we'll do we'll add a little green armadillo mod this takes us up to 300 18. Then we'll want to add a blue armadillo mod. This takes us up to 364. And then finally, we can add ourselves a pink armadillo mod. And we're bam, that's 540. Which actually means that this armor here, which is technically identical in terms of base armor statistics to this pair of goggles, has almost 100 extra armor. It just doesn't make sense. Now, in order to perfectly balance the armor system, we need a large quantity of blue armadillo mods as well as purple armadillo mods. So um, that's where the vending machine is going to come into the picture because I'm down to just one remaining blue armadillo mod, so we're going to sell it to the vending machine, then press R and escape at the same time, and buy this bad boy back a whole bunch of times. Right, now I'm going to try and improve our legendary over jacket here, because uh, this one is important. This is something we can get a lot more armor out of than we are currently getting. So I'll be downgrading some of the various aspects of the armor, and hopefully it should be enough to give it a very important edge. I mean, I've literally made the armor worse, and for some reason it's now offering me more protection, we're up to 511 armor, so turns out these epic armadillo mods actually sometimes are negatives. Right, we're up to 687 armor. That makes it basically on par with the inner torso here and raises our total armor stat up to 411. So if I were to change this white into a green, would that increase the armor? 687 up to... Yes, it does. Oh my goodness, there we go. Two greens, one blue and one purple is enough to raise the armor up to 818. Don't ask how it's actually doing this and don't also ask why apparently the armor is being increased by 1000 when technically speaking it's not. <laughs> 
So I think there's probably some kind of overflow happening in the game. I think if you add so many purples, eventually it just flips around and doesn't actually add as much as it originally intends to, which is why you kind of have to create this very strange abstract number piece in order to increase the amount of armor. Naturally, I'm just going to have to pull the exact same bit of shenanigans here on this armor. Right now, this has taken a whole bunch of min-maxing, but I have basically discovered that if you want to get the most out of your armor, the peak you can kind of hit is 818 if you have four slots, and I know that I can definitely go higher on these various items which only have three mod slots and when I do it's going to mean that we're going to be able to raise the base armor of my character over 5,000. Now this is basically all of the potential attributes that I can stack in order to make my character's armor statistics so high. Uh, the only thing I'm going to be able to do from here on out is to increase the armor stat of all of these lovely items here and of course the way to do that is to break down the components to their lowest level and then slowly increase them until they all get to around about 603 armor which is where they're going to probably Probably peek at, which is absolutely fine. 600 free armor, very decent. So I'll be back in a little bit as soon as I've managed to achieve that much armor. Right, and this is it. With the largest quantity of fiddling around that I can manage, this is the highest amount of stats that I can achieve at my level of 38. Uh, and I'm pretty, pretty happy with them. I know if I went out to get some maybe upgraded legendary armor, I could do better than these evening slippers, which my character is currently wearing. But you know what they're just going to have to do. I mean, they do provide 400 armor, which is pretty pretty good considering I'm meant to be having about 68 armor from my footwear. So really at this point I'm just kind of getting upset about the fact that my exploit isn't even more exploity. Now when it comes to armor we have a statistic of 5106 and this is very good but it can actually be improved by a very comfortable amount actually because the stat of 5106 is good but if I were to hold down the E key I can go into berserk mode ladies and gentlemen I know. And there we go in berserk mode my armor stat actually increases by 7. Well actually it it, it doesn't. It goes up by seven times all of the additional things I have. So that's like plus 14, which isn't much, but it does get added to all of the other modifiers. Plus, technically, when I'm in berserk mode, I take less damage, which is useful, I guess. Uh, anyway, we're going to go fight a cyber psycho, and hopefully by doing so, I'll be able to increase some statistics. Now, all right, here we go. The cyber psycho is in here. Certainly looks like a job for the revolver. Who's this? Is this the cyber psycho? Is he going to Is he gonna die? He's got no HP. As you know, this is just some dead person who is in fact um, immortal, I guess. I don't see how they're not taking damage, but then at the same time, I'm no longer taking damage. Um, this is interesting. Is this just immortality? Oh, uh, hello there, Cyber Psycho, right? He's, he's shooting, point blank. You know, I could get used to this new armor malarkey. I could get used to this a lot. So um, this boss fight, still going great. Really not too much happening over here. Oh, look, there's a thing on the back of this guy. I could just press F and take him down. Seriously, is that how difficult this combat is. I mean, evidently it's quite difficult for him because he can't really seem to kill me at all. Can I kill him? No, apparently shooting him doesn't work either. Is no one able to take damage anymore, game? What's happened? All I did was stack my armor. Right, I'm going to just do a, uh, a takedown maneuver on the boss here because um, evidently shooting him doesn't work. So, um, takedown? Nope, that's also not working apparently. Right, I'm going to leave this cursed area and just going to try and go do a different mission because I have no idea what's going on there. <laughs> There's a reported crime up the street. Let's go see if I can do damage to those people, but more importantly, if they can do damage to me. Right, what about you people? Can you people attack me? There we go, look, I'll aim my gun at you. Shh, kill me, right? Here, here they here they come. It's it's not quite working. Is this how immortality feels? You're just surrounded by melons who can't hit you with knives? Why can't I hit them back? Cyberpunk, am I gonna have to reload you? What is going on here? Why can't I do damage? This game has just ceased functioning. I mean, all I did was accidentally become immortal, guys. It's hardly the worst thing I've done to this game. All right, I'm going to have to save the game and reload it. Right, welcome back. I've managed to fix the game a bit. It turns out restarting the game was enough to turn off my accidental immortality where no one in the game did any damage. Um, it was a pretty interesting feature. I'm pretty sure we accidentally caused it by just simply messing around with the armor stats so many times that the game didn't really know how to classify things. Also, after reloading the game, the armor of my shoes has gone up by about 200, so up to 5,300. 14 armor now. Literally no explanation as to why this has occurred, but it has. And I'm going to fast travel to somewhere a little bit more populated so that we can test out our lovely brand new immortality, because to really get the armor stat off the ground, we actually have to take damage, which is actually quite an interesting concept. Right, welcome to Pacifica, certainly the location with probably the largest quantity of armed gangs, just like this, and 
these armed gangs, as you'll notice, are now starting to shoot us. Uh, they're doing an okay job. Some of the bullets don't do damage, but some of them do one damage. So all we need to do to basically become an immortal is to equip one item, and that would be the Bounce Back Mark III. Uh, it's a single health item, and when we use it, our health regens for about 40 seconds, uh, meaning we can no longer take damage. So whilst we have this equipped, we can't die. <laughs> I, I just have to renew it every 40 seconds, and that's, um, that's immortality, I guess, folks. Okay, no, he's no longer doing any damage. <laughs> Sorry, hello there, my friend. Uh, yes, I've accidentally turned into the Terminator. I physically can't bloody die. <laughs> oh no, Cyberpunk, oh no. Something's gone terribly wrong. Time to die, indeed it is. Have a grenade. <gasps> Throwing a grenade at me? Don't you know I don't take damage from grenades? Well, I mean, I, I suppose I do, just not enough. Right, now you're gonna try and shoot me as well. I'm afraid that's not gonna do anything either. But that was truly incredible. What a riveting and fair combat encounter that was. Right, now I think this is where we're gonna find a whole bunch more um, people to fight. Yep, look at this. Look at this turnout. Check out all of the amount of turrets here. I mean, they're not doing damage, um, but... You know, this is quite impressive. Quite impressive indeed. We're getting shot at from all sides. It's not doing anything. Right, let me stand in front of this turret. Turret, please. Please, my friend. You know, I, I'll have I'll have you, my friend. Uh, this is mine now. Thank you. Yep, this is my turret. Say hello to my turret. It's not as good as my revolver, but it is pretty fun. Oh, my God goodness yeah i think this um the game's no longer really working guys what's happened this game every time i step into this game it gets more and more like skyrim you can gain immortality by just raising your armor stat high enough to the point where you're no longer able to actually sustain damage oh these poor guys you see this is the problem this poor guy not only has his textures completely bugged out but the issue is he's attacking me with a gun here that does between 42 and 51 damage now that's pretty good but my base armor stat is at 9,401 for a reason that I don't fully understand. Now, of course, we remember that the actual armor stat and how much it defends you by is 940 divided by 40, because it is 40 armor for each one damage that is blocked. That means in total we block 235 damage at 0 0.025, which is pretty interesting because that means you basically need a gun that can do 235 damage to even leave a scratch on us. That means that this revolver here, which is completely and utterly overpowered and I've modified to High Kingdom Hell, if it was shot point blank at us, it would do a insane 50 damage. Um, except it wouldn't even do that because there's even more processes in the background that are meaning that it won't even get close to it. But effectively, this means that anyone simply can't kill us. We just don't take damage. Right now, I think there's a boss over here, maybe. Is there a boss? Is a boss up here? Yeah, um, which one of you guys is the most powerful? Uh, just for science, really. Could you all just stand up here and try and shoot me point blank? That would be great. Now, the only downside of the current immortality build that we have is that basically the only way we can die is if we were hit by someone in melee combat because melee weapons ignore armor otherwise armor is literally god tier at uh, stopping all incoming damage oh there we go i think that was the boss there um they are dead though uh, that is indeed a big f well that didn't seem very fair at all <laughs> oh no i mean i i just don't seem to be able to take damage and i mean certainly having 9400 armor is pretty darn solid in terms of unkillability now the thing is i know that this can actually go even higher in fact i reckon we could quite easily cross the 10,000 threshold simply because i'm only level 38 and the higher level i am the more i can craft my own legendary bits of armor so if i'm at level 50 i can increase the base armor of these net running suits even higher and then by increasing the base armor the amount of armor we gain from the actual armadillo mods is increased even further this eventually culminates in a absolutely insane build where we become completely and utterly untouchable but i'm afraid that's gonna have to be saved for another day because we've not only created the most powerful character we've also shown off just how to use him now when it comes to what video you'd like to see next i've got a few options ladies and gentlemen the choice is 
is option A. Would you like to see the actual strongest weapon in the game and also an armor suit to make it so that it produces the highest possible damage output that this game can actually even comprehend? Or option B, would you like to see a lovely Civilization 5 exploit? Or finally, option C, would you love to see a fantastic video of Spore? That's right, we're gonna go back to Spore. Hop on down to the comment section and make your vote known, as it does massively help decide what video I do next. Now, as always, a massive thank you to each and every one of you lovely people for watching this video. All of you who like a video, comment on a video, it does massively help us out. Now, pat yourselves on the back because it's Christmas, and you guys have made 2020 an absolutely incredible year for me, so thank you very much. And of course, a massive thank you to all of the patrons. You majestic sausages make all of these videos all the more possible, so pat yourselves on the back. And hey, if you sat there wondering what video you'd like to watch next, well, look no further than this one on screen now, hand chosen by myself to be absolutely perfect for you. Trust me, you're gonna love it. I mean, I even have an entire playlist of cyberpunk videos now, and if you haven't seen them all, you really need to. Anyway, I'll see each and every one of you in the next one. Have an absolutely lovely day, and goodbye for now.